My dear friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 SDK tutorial. And today we're gonna talk about the new load system, the new load selection system we have in 2024. But is it really new? And is this 2024? So let's discover it. Well, as you can notice by the grass, this is MSS 2020 and now all the buildings are still there. Where is the sorcery? Why in the fourth clip they were disappearing and now they are there? This is because this is the default behavior of MFS 2020 and the other one is the new behavior. But in MFS 2020? So what is the deal? Well, actually the problem is that uh, the new lot system isn't new. The new lot system is there since uh, sim update 6 and it is like in uh, October November 2021 and from uh, the street from Alize the SDK lead, uh, lead developer at Zobo in 2021 we know that uh, in order to make the sim work properly on Xbox we need to optimize the performances and thus track down the performance eating items displayed on screen therefore they put in place the lot limits. The slot limits are actually active on Xbox since when Xbox came from in 2021. There is really nothing new in the lot system. And now I'll show you how you can activate it in 2020 uh, to see that it's <laughs> effectively there and we should have known that we must have doing lots even three years ago. So to activate it, we go to the bug debug mode loads and we're gonna use uh, activate load limits. Let's reload the flight and let's see what happened. So I have activated the load limits in MFS 2020 and as you can see as much as I go away from my objects they are called away because they don't have proper level of details. So what is a level of detail? This is a quick representation of what a level of detail is. So the first uh, monkey as 500 words and is the one that is near to the to the user to the camera once we go away from the camera we don't need so much vertices to show the same appearance so we can have something with less vertices with a less complicated geometry and going back again we don't need to see all the details all the details that we have in front so we can have a 3d object with less vertices and in the latest one we have one tenth of the vertices of the first one because it's so far away that we don't need to see every details like the eyes, the mouth, uh, the ears. The same things apply to every other object in uh, modern 3D games. To have all this complicated stuff in front of you, all the buttons of the triggers, uh, all the switches, uh, and all the instruments, the trees, the flowers, and, and so on, in front of you, you have to save on vertices on the things that are further from you. And in Xbox, it is extremely important because of memory requirements. On PC, it was not so, so important in 2020 because PC can chew millions of polygons. Yes, that is true, but if everyone chews millions of polygons in their airplanes, in their aircraft carrier, in their buildings, once we put all the stuff together in all the world, the same can run. And it start uh, having bugs and it start turning off screens. So we must do lots in the proper way. And Azobo was telling us three years ago. Now let's see what we can do and when we must do lots. So let's fire up 2024. Okay, I've uh, logged up the game in MFS 2024 and you see it by the flowers. And now I'm gonna show you how to detect uh, the bad lots, if any, or if you have to modify the, the right one you have made. Let's open the debug, debug model LODs. And uh, you're gonna see a bunch of, uh, of data. Uh, so we can filter up by model name. So this is LIDL main hangar and we wanna concentrate on this main hangar. So we have a basic information here and uh, we are loading 
lot zero out of zero. So this is the only, <laughs> uh, the only LODs of this airport. Computers start counting by from zero. So lot zero, lot one, lot two, lot three. This way, computers. And uh, we need some more information. We need to activate this lot limit vertices. And I want to activate also the lot screen size. So this is showing that this object is now at 126% uh, of the screen size. And it's obviously a wrong value. And why we have this value? So let's enable the bounding box and the bounding sphere. And uh, the size uh, that an object takes on your screen is defined by a sphere that contains the whole object. If we, if we start going a little bit far away, the size on the screen of the bounding box relative to the screen size start to decrease. Next, to the size of the screen, of the current size of the screen of the bounding box, we have two important NAND numbers. The first one is the number of vertices of our object. The second one is the max number of vertices for this current screen size. It's nearly 250 for a 100 uh, screen size. As you may have seen, if we go away, that number decreases. For a screen size of 20, the max number of vertices, 10,000. When it disappears, when, of course, my object now is 7,000 vertices and the limit is 10,000, so it's still on the screen. It takes a little bit to go near the limit and now it's yellow because we are nearly near the limit. If we go past the limit, the object will become red and then will disappear from the screen. Because at 17 screen size, the max number of vertices is 7,000. I have a 7,100 objects, 7,200. I have a 7,100 objects. And if I go further away, the object disappear. This is very important for you because it's at that stage that you must add a less defined 3D object with a number of vertices less than the indicated value. Now I'm showing you how a proper model object behaves with proper loads. We have a model that has three lots, lot zero, lot one, and lot two. Now we are showing lot zero out of two. The size on the screen with our bounding sphere is 100. And the number of triangles for this model is 7,700. This size of the screen, we are around 250,000 trees for um, the maximum limit. If we go further away, we can start see that the size is decreasing and the maximum vertices for this screen size is decreasing, just like as the anger. Now we are changing to LOD1, LOD1, and we are changing to LOD1 at this size because I have set this in the model.xml. You can set a main size where you want to switch to the next LOD. In fact, here you can see that I want to go to the next LOD when the mean size of the screen is below 20. At 20, LOD is zero, and below 20, below 20, LOD one. If we go further, now we are reaching the limit for the screen size, and as you can see, the LOD has automatically switched to the next LOD because I have reached the LOD limits. And this is despite I wanted to switch not at 10 or 9 or so, 
but I wanted to, to switch at five. So basically, the values you set in the model.xml can't at all go beyond the hard-coded load limits that are in the game. So let's explore these load limits. Bring up the chart where you can see the LOD limits that is coming from the SDK. And this is your new Bible. Uh, because you can see the maximum vertex count for every LOD uh, size on screen. We are going to look at the I preset, uh, which is the reference one, and we can see that uh, 67 screen size, so we are pretty much there. The lot limit is between 150,000 and 60,000. So if we go to 49 screen size, like there, we have a confirmation that the maximum number of vertices for the screen size is 60,000. Okay, now if we go further, now we go at 20, maximum limit is uh, 8,500 for, uh, uh, for 20. Uh, so it's between those values. So we go at 14, like so. Maximum number is 5,000, nearly. Yeah, nearly 5,000. Now, let's trigger, let's see the number two trigger. We are approaching the limit for 9% screen size, which should be uh, 2,500, and we are approaching that. We just move beyond that, and despite we set five into our maximum screen size to go to the next lot, the game has changed to this one. So should uh, keep 300. Of course, at this distance, it's nearly useless to have so much polygons, so much triangles. So why using 200 triangles? So this is the reason why it is important to do all this properly. And now we have just seen the number of maximum vertices allowed for each LODs, but LODs are not only vertices, so decreasing the complexity of your model is not just uh, reducing the number of vertices, but uh, requires modding it, making several modifications to your object, like reducing the number of texture, reducing the definition of your texture. So if, for example, in your LOD0 you have 4K texture, maybe in LOD3s you can have a uh, 128 per 128 uh, pixel texture or reducing the number of draw codes so less materials um, things like that and to to study what you need to modify you can open the statistic profiler search for your object and everywhere you see something in red you have some room for uh, modification to your object, to, to your texture. In this case, there are texture, but if we see maybe this, uh, this draw course in red, there are too much draw codes. If we see this in red, there are too much draw count. As you can see, no reds. This texture can be a valor resolution because I know that I'm using a 1K texture or maybe a 512 texture. At this size, I can have a smaller texture. And at this size, I have no more texture because I have only a vertex color for my model. Uh, I don't know what, why I have read in bitmap count, so this should be explained by Azobo because there is only vertex color. So I hope you understood the importance of LODs and uh, why we should have made them since the beginning of the game, because we did know from the LOD limits already from 2020 that LODs are really important. In the next video, 
I will try to show you how to actually make your LODs in uh, the 3D software and what are the best practices to make LODs. Hope you like the video and uh, please subscribe uh, to, the, um, to the channel, thumbs up and uh, subscribe also to the Discord so you can meet a lot of people that can help you in your uh, scenery development. Bye bye!